live in uh, an area that's got a lot of HMOs and it's really changed recently. I mean, we've got uh, sort of houses that used to be uh, family homes, uh, so they used to have, you know, four people living in them. Uh, now they could have as many as five, six, and I mean adults. So that means we actually have, uh, you know, many more bins required. Um, and it just, you know, rubbish spills out into, into the streets. And also another thing is uh, people don't stay in the area as long. So you might have people who move in for a couple of months and actually they move out. Uh, and when they're moving out, you know, there it does tend to be uh, quite a bit of fly tipping that happens. So we don't have any um, off street parking. This means before you might have had a car, maybe two per household. Now you're getting five more. And I mean, you can see, um, you know, this is two o'clock in the afternoon and there's barely any parking spaces at all. So it, it does create, uh, you know, a bit of tension, really. HMOs are important, but actually we have other needs in the city too. We need family houses. We need places for people to, to stay. We've, we're in the middle of a housing crisis and we need to do everything we can to tackle that. I want to improve the quality of HMOs in the city as well by making sure that people wanting to convert properties have to get planning permission. They're going to have to meet a whole new load of standards that they've not had to meet previously. That's really important. I think now Article 4 is in place, uh, we want to make sure that residents and also say investors or developers who are looking to move into the area or buy in the area, that they're aware that they do need planning permission. Um, I think that would be really helpful to make sure that you know we continue uh, to have the right balance of housing um, in the area. Well this has been a long campaign, it's something that I've campaigned on. A number of residents groups have campaigned on it too and we said we'd do it and now we've delivered.